So there are two things I highly recommend in order to get a good brow slay. The first thing is to shape in your brows. You have to have your brows shaped in order to get a good brow slay. Some people shaping their brows at home or they go to the beauty salon to do it. It's very, it's very easy either way. It depends on what you're comfortable with. For me, I'm just going to do a little bit shaping. My brows are scanty. I don't need to really go to the beauty supply. And now the second thing is for those of you, this is um, for people that have um, oily eyebrows. If you do have oily eyebrows, I recommend using a setting powder and let the setting powder sit for about four minutes in order for the pen to or the product that you're using to show as i mentioned step one is shaping your brows and for me to in order for me to shape in my brows i'm going to first of all brush my eyebrows and what i'm using to brush my brows is the same pen too the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, it has two sides. One is the, the pencil side. And here you go. And the other is the brush side. So I'm going to be using the brush side now to brush my brows. I'm brushing it upward so I can see the excess brows that I need to take out. That's the reason why I'm brushing it upward. So, um, I don't really need a lot of shaping, but I'm just going to take out, let me come close. I'm just going to take out these extra hairs here because I don't need them. Taking a cool razor blade I got from Shopper's Drug Mat, and I'm just going to brush out the excess hair at the edge. I'm going to do the same thing for the side. Brush it upwards. Brush it upwards and the powder I'm going to be using today is the L'Oreal Messi setting powder. The translucent setting powder. I love this powder. I'm going to be using this powder and I'll be using a, I'll be using a round brush to apply the setting powder on my The round brush I'll be using to apply the setting powder on my brows, okay? So I'm just going to dip the brush and the powder, dip it in the powder and apply everywhere all over my brows and now to draw my brows and i'm going to show you guys how i measure my brows in order to get it kind of precise okay so for the front of my brows i'm measuring it from the tip of my nose this is where i'm going to start this is going to be the beginning of my brow here so i'm just going to give a mark i see i measured from here the tip of my nose here okay and now for the middle is going to be from the end of my nose this part of my nose here here and this is it here i'm doing it for the top as well i hope you guys can see or i can just draw a line <laughs> I can just draw a line for you guys and for the end of my brows i'm measuring from my eyes the end of my eyes here so this is going to be the end of my brows so i'm just going to go over what i just did the tip of my nose the end of my nose the end of my nose and the end of my eyes that is where i'm going to end my brow so now let's draw the lines together So when drawing the lines, please take your time and I'm going very close and slowly and I'm going close to my brows. Oops. Yeah, that's when you use heavy hand bricks. Okay, so um, I forgot to mention, please use light hand for the front of your brows. Okay, you don't want your, the front of your brows too pigmented. And for the end of your brows, you could use um, heavy hand 
I mean, some people want their brows, like, they don't want it looking natural, so whichever one works for you, work for you. I'm going to do the same thing I did here to my second brows, okay? Same thing I did is from the tip of my nose, I'm drying, trying to make it the same, trying to make it the same as, on the same level as this one. So I'm drawing and I'm going with it and the tip of my nose as well for the high end and the end of my eyes for, for the end of my brows. Okay. All right. So I'm looking at both sides to see if they match up, they kind of do. I'm just going to bring this one, this one down a little bit so that it matches up with this side. Okay, so now I'm going to connect those dots I drew. So I'm taking my time, going light. downwards and I'm connecting it to the end of my brow okay and then I'm extending the line to the front as well so I'm doing the same thing I did for these brows over here as well I'm drawing my arc from here and going down to connect it with the lower line. And I'm extending the front as well. And to fill in my brows, I'm using the same micro brow pencil. Oh, I forgot to mention the shade. The shade is in chocolate. So I'm going to be using my NYX micro brow pencil. Um, in order to do brows, guys, you don't need to break back. Like, I honestly like using the same, the same brow pencil I use for everything. I'm going to use it to fill in my brows. You don't need to use multiple products. So what I'm doing is lightly filling it in. So when I get to the front, I'm filling it in lightly. And I'm going upwards. You see, I'm going like this to fill. Like this, I'm just going fast. So for the back of my brows, I'm going to be going a little bit heavy handed, but be careful because um, this brow pencil breaks on you easily. So you want to be careful. I'm gonna be careful when you're going. Front of my brows, when I'm done filling in my brows, I did, if you notice, I did not fill in the front of my brow. I'm trying to go for a natural look. So basically I'm going with a light hand. I'm going like this from bottom to top, bottom to top, bottom to top, and bottom to top, doing the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing for this side. I'm just going to fill it on, fill it in, and do, and um, draw the strokes for the front. So just watch, guys. So I'm filling it in. So when I get to the front, I'm going light-handed, extending the brow pencil. Going in light handed and doing the same thing I did for the front, drawing stroke like this one, two, and 
and try to slant the strokes try to slant the lines when you're drawing it don't don't just draw a straight line okay so that's exactly what i'm doing trying to get them slanting in order to look natural so i'm going over again and to clean my brows i'm going to be using ellie girl concealer in the shade fawn to clean the bottom of my brow and i'm going to be using a flat brush so i'm going to be using this brush i got it from mac a couple of years ago I'm not sure what it's called, but um, you could use any flat brush. Okay, so I'm going in gently. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And now for the top of my brows, this is important. I do not use the phone concealer because it's too light. What I'm going to be using is my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And this will be in the shade 360 Mocha. And carefully clean my brows, clean the top of my brow. So I'm starting from the front. And then I'm going to go down, bring it down. And Taking a little bit of the foundation. so that's done you can go ahead and leave your brows like this if you like but um, i like to set my brows and what i'm going to use to set it is going to be my lash glue my dual lash glue and take the same brush the same um micro brow pen too and take this pulley part and rub in the rub in the eyelash glue and brush my brows gently brush it up gently this is going to give a more natural effect so brush it oh this is the difference between this one and this one i'm doing the same thing for this side what i did for here using the lash glue on my spoolie and brushing it all right guys so that's it for my eyebrow tutorial makeup is all about try and error you try you make a mistake you fix it so i really wanted to make sure i show those mistakes those steps so that you guys can see that um you can always fix up your makeup according to what you want thank you for coming i'll see you in my next video my next eyebrow tutorial is going to be the stroke brow method so i'm excited for that one i just wanted to do something that was more beginner and i hope this helped please let me know how it goes take your time makeup is a process take your time and you get it i'll see you in my next video bye guys